back in ETV. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching uh, Balcony TV Melbourne, and we're here with Opip. Liv, how's things? Things are good, thanks. Yeah. Peppy, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Alistair. Yeah, she do not have a microphone, so... She's good, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. What are you guys going to play this evening? We're going to play War Song. War Song. I'm going to walk out of the way and leave you to it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna take this one out. So, Liv, tell me a little bit about OPEP and how the band came together. Right, well, Peppy and I went to high school together, mm -hmm. and then we played for a couple of years writing songs just as a duo, and eventually we found these guys. Stu, we met at a gig. Joss was our fill in drummer for a while. Just, just quickly, Stu, how, how's that sneeze going? It actually, it actually receded back into into my uh, the recesses of my nose. So it's, it's all good. It's all good. Probably a little bit too much information, Stu. But um, sorry, you were saying. Oh, sorry. We met Stuart at a gig. Um, Joss was our fill-in drummer for a while, and um, Patty's from Adelaide, and we met him at a jam. Peppy met him at a jam. And that's you know, being from Adelaide. From Adelaide. <laughs> I think Adelaide's alright. Yeah, yeah, anyway, that's so pep. That's the story. And uh, and you guys released a, an EP last September. We did. Um, tell us a little bit about getting that together and how it all went. Pep, you want to take this one? Oh. <laughs> Go for it. Well, we recorded it in um, 
April and we released it in September and it was made by Cam Truen, who was a great um, mixer. And <laughs> yeah, we released it in September and it's gone really well. It's got five tracks, including the one we just played. Cool. Which was great. And you're doing a little bit of recording at the moment, or you're about to record, about to record. In, in July, you said? Mm-hmm. Yes. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so have you got a whole lot of new tracks together and you're excited to, to go and record them? Very excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're kind of sick of playing all the uh, old ones at gigs? No. Tell the truth, Liam. Yeah, yeah. And is that perhaps why you're going to go and play a Paul Simon album for the entire May at uh, the Grace Dalek? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> well, that was heaps of fun to learn and we only learned it for one show and then kind of a waste not to play it again so yeah yeah um those shows i guess for you guys that don't know were at uh, pure pop records which is a great city store obviously here in melbourne and they did a whole lot of uh yeah covers gigs right for for fundraising so you guys raise a lot of funds that one wasn't for fundraising i don't think <laughs> wasn't that one for no, fundraising? So, mm. all the funds raised went to the band Ah. So, <laughs> so that was just donated. for fun. That was fun, yeah, okay. without the tracing. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> this is pretty much where we were hoping to be, but it's, it doesn't feel so good now that we're here. Um, <laughs> so people can see you at the Grace Darling in May yeah, playing Paul Simon's Graceland. That's right, Thursdays in May, the first three Thursdays. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully we'll have this up by then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, and they can look forward to some some new tracks uh, yeah. coming by the end of the year, I guess. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, thanks so much for coming on, guys. Thanks for having us. Pleasure. You. You've been watching Balcony TV, Melbourne. Balcony TV.